Let's go back to working with a 10-1 machine and see what boxes to the right could mean for that machine. Then it should be clear what they mean in other machines as well. To keep the left and right boxes visibly distinct, we'll separate them with a point. And well, society calls this a point, and for a, for a 10 one machine at least, it's called a decimal point. So what does it mean to have dots in the right box? Well, uh, right boxes. What are the values of the dots in those boxes? Well, since this is a 10 one machine, we do know that 10 dots in any one box explode to make one dot in one place to the left. So 10 dots in one box and the dot box just to the right of the decimal point are equivalent to one dot in the ones box. So each dot in that box must be worth one tenth. We have, so we have our first place value to the right of the decimal point. One tenth. In the same way, ten dots in the next box over are worth one tenth, and one tenth of one tenth is one hundredth. So we now have two places, uh, two place values to the right to the decimal point, and ten one thousandths makes up a hundredth, and ten ten thousandths makes up a thousandth, and so on. So what we have here, the place values one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth one-ten-thousandth, one-hundred-thousandth, and so on. We have the place values. So we see that the boxes to the left of the decimal point represent place values are given as powers of 10, and the boxes to the right of the decimal point represent place values that are reciprocals of powers of 10. So we have just discovered decimals. Now, when people think of, say, like three-tenths and base 10, they mean the value of placing three dots in the first box after the decimal point. So three tenths would be three dots in the tenths place. Likewise, seven dots in the third box after the decimal point represents seven in the thousandths, so seven thousandths. Now, a possible source of confusion with a decimal is a number like 31 hundredths. This is technically three tenths and one hundredth, as you see, three dots in the tenths place and one dot in the hundredth, hundredths place. But we read the decimal as 31 hundredths, which would suggest 31 dots in the hundredths place. So are these the same thing? And the answer is yes. If you recall your 10, uh, 10 one machines, every time you have 10 dots, kablooey, you have one dot to the left. You take 10 dots, kapow, one dot to the left, and then take 10 dots, Kapeng, one dot to the left. So you can see having 31 dots in the one hundredths place is the same as having three dots in the tenths and one dot in the hundredth. All right, so let's use exploding dots to write um, 24 hundredths in two ways. Well, the simplest way is two dots in the tenths place and four dots in the hundredths. Another way um, is, well, you could put all 24 dots in the hundreds place. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, So there's another way. And you can also do one dot in the tenths place. You can do 14 dots in the hundreds. Um, or you can do 240 dots in the thousands place uh, if you really feel motivated. 